Okay, this would be tape two, <laughs> like everyone does. Now, my modifications of this monster, which is a little tiny one, I added a <clears throat> clean out so I can look at my ashes to see what the results are. I've also added a lid to it so the, the, it, it seals off the top. I, on my lighter tube, I've actually added <clears throat> an extra extension to take it down to the ash bin down at the bottom to put the burn down there, which seems to work really good. It turns it into ash. Um, the cooler tower still remains. The water seems to still drain down into the to the cyclone. Um, once again, it goes from there down, goes to the, I want to call them scrubbers, but first one steel wool pads, and then goes up the tubes for cooling, more cooling and more water. Um, the far tube is basically uh, scotch bright, <clears throat> and then finally down to my filter down here, which is all full of uh, sawdust. But anyway, in this, I have a, uh, oh, what do you call it? A, take that off. Jeez, I got all this stuff. Anyway, I'm, I burnt two cans of just pellets and the whole thing, and it ran for an hour and 20 minutes, and I got this much water out of my cyclone, which is water, and you can see junk in there. That's the results there that came out of it. Also, too, inside my reactor tube, the contents in that seem to be down at the bottom almost yeah almost down at the bottom you can see my I don't know if you can see it or not but there's there's what's left <clears throat> there's virtually just a little bit of charcoal left down the tube it burnt almost down to I burnt roughly a little over 10 inches of it yeah 10 in, 10 inches of it so <clears throat> there's a little bit of charcoal left and then the final results are on my burn tip I added a paper towel in there, and that's how much tar is left in it. So I still have to <coughs> eliminate the tar in the system, otherwise I cannot run a motor. Otherwise it will destroy it. Anyway, I thought I'd do that follow-up. Still want to work on it. I'm still not sure if I still want to run another motor with that, but out of all that filtering and stuff, you still get a results of tar in it. So if anybody can help resolve that, I don't know how many more filters you can put on it. Anyway, that's it on this one.